guys, this is Tyler with Candlelit Crime Scene here to bring you another tutorial. This one in response to a question from Zani13. Hope I'm pronouncing that right. And they were just asking about the audio wave that I used in one of my songs that I posted a little bit earlier. Just a side note, I'll be opening up all my videos so that people can respond through a video response if they have either any questions that they want to show me using their screen or they feel they can explain something better, which I understand. So anyone that wants to post in the video response, just know that'll be open. Okay, so the first thing I'll do is show you what I'm talking about if anyone's a little bit lost right now. It's just, I'll go ahead and play the song, you'll see exactly what it does, and then we'll go through step by step how to do it. Here we go. Okay, I think you get the idea. Basically, the sound wave here is responding to whatever notes are being played in the track. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started. First of all, we're going to open up After Effects. And if you have not already done so, we're going to go up here to File, left click, go to New, and start just a new project. <clears throat> the screen looks exactly the same because I already had a new project up, and you may have too if you just opened up After Effects. Okay, so now that we've already started the new project, the first thing we're going to do is click on composition left click new composition and for this we're gonna go down here and call it audio wave and it doesn't really matter what you call this if you have any experience in After Effects you'll know the composition name just helps you organize your project so I'm gonna go ahead and call that audio wave now down here I usually like to set the duration to the length of my song so I figure out how long the song is going to be and I go ahead and set the duration to that you can edit it later but that's just the simplest way for now I'm going to leave it at 20 seconds because the song I'll be using <clears throat> excuse me the song I'll be using is only the intro to what I've been doing in my tutorials so we'll go ahead and leave the background color to black and click OK now that we have our solid the next thing we're gonna do is add an effect called audio waveform it's located over here in effects and presets but let's say you don't have that if your screen looks like this or some other window right here what you'll need to do is scroll up to here where it says window and then just go down here where it says effects and presets another option is just to click control 5 so I'm gonna go ahead and left click now that you see effects and presets yours will look a little more like this all these drop down menus so go ahead and scroll down to where it says generate. Go ahead and left click that and then you'll see audio waveform. If you'll left click that you can hold it down and drag it over to the stage. Release and you'll see the beginnings of the waveform that we'll create. Now the best thing to do and there are many effects that you can do to this you know slant it do all that kind of stuff but if you want it to be straight across the screen such as I have in the video go ahead and hold down shift and then left click and then you can drag it to a perfectly straight line. We'll repeat the same process on the right side of the waveform. Hold down shift, left click, bring it across. Next we're going to go up here to where it says audio layer and go to solid. Right now what it's doing is just responding to the background solid one which is static and it won't do anything. In order to make that dynamic we're going to bring in a track. This is where you'll click on file, so go ahead and left click scroll down to where it says import file yours may be located somewhere different mine I just threw on the desktop so find your mp3 file or whatever audio file that you had and bring it out so for now I'll use tutorial track 2 now that I have my file into my project I'm just gonna left click drag that down into it now they're both in there and they'll both play but they're not really talking to each other so what we'll do is go back into our solid one in the effects controls and then where it says solid one here now that we have another option we're going to click tutorial track 2.mp3 or whatever yours was called again that could be something completely different it could be my song my junk whatever you wanted to call it so go ahead and left click that now you'll see it's starting to come alive this part there's a little bit of good news and bad news the good news is you're pretty much done. You can leave it like this, export, and you're good to go. Render, 
before you do that. The bad news is this is also the part that takes the most time because you can get into editing it and making it look, you know, however you want it to look. So you can adjust thickness. You can go in here and adjust color. Then you'll see all this stuff starting to happen. If you want the lines to be a little bit higher, you can check, you know, maximum height, all that kind of stuff. For now, I'm just going to keep it fairly simple. I think you get the idea. And if you want to change how it looked, the first one I think I created was called Digital, and I made it a little bit less thick. So those little dot lines like this. The second one I created was called, yeah, I think I used the analog lines. And again, the thickness is a little bit more. So feel free to just mess around with that. I won't go in too much more detail. I think you get the idea. Make it however you want it to look. The final thing we'll do is render this project out. If you don't see render, the easiest way to find it is click on window and then just scroll down to where it says render queue. You'll see here it opens up a new tab called render queue. Up in the project right under the name where we created audio wave, go ahead and left click that and drag it into the render queue. Now if you want this to produce the movie with sound, you're going to go ahead and have to go into output module, left click on that. If you'll see it defaults with no audio coming out. So go ahead and simply left click that and leave it at the settings that you see here. If you want to adjust it and you know what you want, you can go ahead and do that. But for now, we're just going to keep it at the default. All right, so go ahead and left click OK. And we will go ahead and left click Render. Mine will be very short simply because it's only 20 seconds long. Yours may be a little bit longer and most tracks will be. So as long as you let that do its thing, render it out, you will be done. Just wait and I'll show you what it looks like. Alright, so we'll go ahead and minimize it and find it, which is wherever it's going to be on your desktop. Find that, and you can see right here, this is what we call the audio wave. Double click, and it should play. Yay! Okay, there you go. Hope you enjoyed and I hope you learned something. If you have any further questions, feel free to either leave a video response or a comment in the section located below. Alright guys, appreciate it and thanks.